In this video, we will demonstrate how to install GRP pipes. We will advise which tools you will need, how to open a new trench, prepare the bedding, handling pipes, joining, controlling the joints, preparing backfill soils, and compacting. The contractors will be using a flow-tight grey pipe with a pressure rating of 32 bar. The diameter is 600 mm, stiffness 10,000. The contractors have planned to combine 6 and 12 meter long pipes for the curvature of the steep terrain. You will need lifting slings, a brush, water-based lubricant, a feeler gauge, something to cover the coupling, a separating device, shovels, a vibratory plate compactor, an excavator. A pipe laser will also come in handy. Always use personal safety equipment like gloves, hard hats and protective footwear when handling pipes. When you receive the pipes on site, load the pipes onto stable, even grounds. If lifting slings are not pre-mounted or the ground is not soft, as in this case, place the pipes on wooden supports. This makes it easier to pick up the pipes later. Take care of the spigot ends of the pipe. The spigot is the most sensitive part of a pipe. Never install pipes that are damaged. When handling pipes, use two lifting slings at the time. Never use steel cables or chains directly on the pipe. To avoid uncontrolled pipe movement, use a sling or rope on one of the pipe ends to steer it. There is no problem to store flow-tight pipes outside for longer periods of time if they're stored according to the flow-tight installation guide. The flow-tight pipe itself is UV resistant. Excavate the topsoil first, then the next layers. Store the soil a safe distance from the trench. The soils can be used to backfill the pipes later. Make sure that the bottom of the trench is stable. A pipe laser may be used to ensure that the pipe bedding has the correct level and angle. On the DN600, 32 bar pipes used in this installation, the maximum angular deflection is one degree. Therefore, a combination of six meter and 12 meter pipes are used to obtain the curvatures. Other flow tight couplings allow an angular deflection of up to three degrees, depending on pipe length, pressure, and diameter. Provide bedding material for the pipe bedding. The bedding should be 100 to 150 millimeters thick. Excavate a hole where the coupling can rest. That way, the pipe does not rest on the coupling. The pipe should always rest on the barrel. Lift the pipes using two certified lifting slings. Attach a rope or sling to one end of the pipe. This helps when steering the pipe. Prevent gravel from entering the coupling using the separating device. Clean the grooves and rubber gasket rings. On this site, water was available nearby. A sweeping brush is also common. Apply lubricant on the spigot end of the pipe and a layer on the gasket. Make sure to lubricate all around the outer side of the pipe spigot. This will ensure a smooth insertion. Never use petroleum-based lubricants. Use the coupling cover device on the coupling when pushing. You can also use come-along jacks for joining the pipes. Be careful to align the pipes accurately before pushing the spigot into the coupling. Higher pressure pipe couplings are tighter than lower pressure or gravity couplings, so aligning the pipes accurately ensures a smooth insertion. Push the pipe slowly into the coupling, all the way into the home line. Oversee that the spigot enters correctly. You must now ensure the gasket is correctly placed. Push a feeler gauge between the coupling and pipe. When it hits the gasket, slide it around the circumference. You should be able to feel the gasket all around the circumference. 
However, if the feeler gauge does not stop where the gasket should be, pull the pipe back out and reinstall. A correctly placed gasket is essential for a leak-tight pipeline. Considering that the pipeline may be in service for hundreds of years, do not make the mistake of not controlling the gaskets. Fixing an error at this point is far easier and far less expensive than when the pipeline is in operation. Backfilling should start immediately after pipe joining. It protects the installation as you progress. Use native soils, imported soils, or a combination of the two as backfill. Never use organic, frozen, or environmentally harmful materials. Use a grid to filter out oversized particles. Note that flow-tight grey tolerates bigger particles than most other pipes. The following grid spacing is applicable for flow-tight grey. For pipes between DN250 and DN500, a grid with maximum 25 mm spacing. DN600 to DN1000, maximum 50 mm. DN1000 and above, maximum 64 mm. In this remote location, the contractor used only native soils. The soils at the site are granular and easy to compact. Granular soils are always easier to use than clay and other cohesive types of soils. Add soil around the pipes. Work in and compact underneath the pipe barrel on both sides of the pipe. Make sure that the whole length of the pipe is well supported by soil. This is called haunching. When the haunching is complete, add soil in 100 to 300 millimeter lifts around the pipe. Compact each lift with a vibratory plate compactor. Do not compact too hard or the pipe may be deflected into an oval shape. Check for potential deflection. Be especially attentive as you start installing so you become familiar with the nature of the soils to find an accurate compaction level. If pipes are deflected, adjust and align compaction levels on the sides and above the pipe. Add new soil layers in 100 to 300 mm lifts until the pipe crown is covered, compacting between each new layer. Cover the pipe crown with a minimum of 300 mm of backfill. Compact, but be careful not to deflect the pipe. Now backfill the trench with the excavated soils. Finally, put back the topsoil that was excavated first and put aside when opening the trench. The installation is now complete. Let's highlight some key elements. Use the separating device to prevent gravel from entering the coupling. Use a feeler gauge to control the gasket. Make sure that the pipe rests on the pipe barrel, not the coupling. Make sure to compact to a correct level. Flow-tight pipes do not corrode and are mechanically and hydraulically stable. When a GRP pipeline is installed correctly and with care, it can last and serve generations to come. For centuries. Happy installation!